that's in the news today and what today September is going to look like. Let's get into the markets. And of course, the news yesterday was from uh, Stambik IPTC Holdings PLC Financial Services Group reporting better than expected numbers earnings per share 230 cover. We saw almost 60% uh, growth in this financial services group. Profit before tax, net profit north of 100%. And of course, the kicker. In the earnings yesterday was a 60 cover per share interim cash dividend that Stambik is declaring to shareholders for the first six months of 2017. But let's uh, take a look at the stock chart for this particular uh, stock on the stock exchange from Stockman. And that's the, those are the folks that uh, roll out this for us each time you see it on the screen. And this came overnight. This was a bit of a look back from June 2010, about a seven-year share, uh, share price movement uh, tracking Strambic IBTC, one of the uh, top largest financial services group in the Nigerian marketplace. And you can see a consistent price growth from 5 naira 88 kabo in the year 2009 to 40 naira per share in the year 2017. And of course, if you look at the stock chart, you can see that all above that, but again, you see that in 2014, Stamic IBTC ran into stormy waters with the financial reporting council, the FRC, over its financial statement and some issues regarding payments to NOTAP and what have you. Now, that was where you saw that decline in the share price of Stambic IBTC. Of course, the financial statement was withheld between the FRC and the central bank and the SEC. Then you see the, the chart all the way down. You can see the candle down there by 2016. Then that was resolved a few months ago. Then you can see that very sharp upward trajectory in the share price of this particular bank since 2017. You can see the arrow there. Look at where the cost actually happened, around 12 naira per share. And the share price of Stambik has since climbed very rapidly to 40 naira per share. The key resistance level at 35 naira was broken. And then uh, we now the stock is above that level. Full price recovery pattern, prices rolling very strongly as we speak. And the earnings yesterday is going to be one major factor for us to watch in the market as we start today, the final trading day in the month of August. That's Stambik IBTC in summary for you. The earnings yesterday, better than expected, is still on the street and the market reaction we're expecting today. Let's get on to UBA. Uh, that's uh, one of the tier one listed lenders that announced yesterday's made provisions for its billion, about, uh, about 35 billion exposure to former Etisalat Nigeria, now Nine Mobile. Uh, UBA is the second of the 13 banks that gave $1.2 billion to Etisalat Nigeria back then. Became very contentious. So we saw Zenith Bank about two weeks ago uh, says they made a provisioning. This time UBA also made a provisioning for this particular loan to Nine Mobile formerly at Tissalat, Nigeria, but did not state by how much that provisioning uh, was. But of course, the earnings from UBA for the first half and second quarter 2017 is still on the street. But look at how the market has been reacting to this particular uh, bank. Look at this uh, sharp fall in the share price of UBA around the year 2010. And you can see the very sharp arrow and the, uh, and, and the uh, candlesticks all the way down to around 10 naira per share, a support level. That's about 1 naira 63 kobo. Uh, that's a sup uh, support level there around the year 2012 for uh, UBA. Then you see a bit of a recovery. Then that was peaking above 8 naira per share uh, around 2013, 2014. Then, of course, you saw another decline uh, in line with the market for 2015 and 2016. Then you can see uh, the comeback there, the price recovery pattern towards the bottom right of the screen of that chart. And you can see the, another clear resistance level now for UBA. UBA has uh, outperformed the market by as much as 75% since 2017 started. This is one of the star performer in the banking system uh, in 2017. Uh, UBA uh, there. 
Now let's go on and uh, check with Access. Of course, Access Bank also reported. Uh, it's uh, one of the tier one lenders with it about a week ago. Access Bank uh, reported. And you can see the uh, chart there, a bit of a... Uh, up, down, up, down over the last uh, seven years as well for this. But again, a bit of, um, if you look at the red line, uh, that shows you where the share price is moving, trying to track the, the candlesticks. But of course, the price decline was there. Again, touch a bottom in 2016, around four naira per share. Then, of course, we've seen a recovery back to about 11 20 naira, 11 naira 20 for the shares of Access Bank. This is also one stock that is outperforming the market since 2017 started. And finally, uh, one of the uh, tier two lenders, Sky Bank, sometimes in the news for all the wrong reasons. Sky Bank is yet to report its 2016 full year numbers, not to talk of first quarter or second quarter or first half of 2017. So we're still waiting for Sky Bank. But of course, this bank says he's been able to claw back some of the billions and billions that are owed in non-performing loans. The stock moved on that news. We've seen this moving also strongly. Uh, of course, you can see Sky Bank uh, resistance at about 85 cobble, almost heading to power value back then. Then, of course, we've seen the price now at a new resistance level at 7 era 95. Sky Bank in the news this morning. So, so let's take a break. We'll come back to the marketplace, the global marketplace, Nigeria's euro bond, and those of the banks are what we're talking about next. We're unpacking that as we see Access Bank redeem $350 million of its euro bond that was floated in 2012.